Hey everybody, my name is Pete and I was taught this method uh, over 20 years ago when I was building my first house and been using it ever since. And uh, most recently on this job where we we're building a granny flat on our property. So uh, I just want to clarify, I am not a licensed electrician. So please consult the licensed electrician before you attempt this. There are some things that I may not show perfectly clearly. So. I want you to make sure you don't make, make any mistakes and cause any problems in the future. This video is doing two at a time and it's just under two minutes if you let it run at normal speed. We'll run the video through again and I'll talk you through it step by step. Okay, here we go. All right, so you'll see me using this crimper cutter and then these heavy duty large gauge wire cutters and a sharp utility knife, gotta be sharp. And then we'll be using these copper crimp sleeves. So this video we're just covering getting these outlets ready for drywall. So, but you can see in this picture here how the cables are routed through the studs and then down stapled to the stud and run into the outlet boxes. So kind of make a note of that, but uh, we're going to show you how to prep these boxes for drywall. Now one other thing to note here is you've got a main wire coming from your load center or your junction box and it comes all the way in, into the number one outlet of this run and I've got like 10 outlets on this run. So the way I keep them separated is I, the one coming into the outlet is up against the stud and the one going out downstream to the next outlet is uh, on the outside of the stud. So that's how I remember. Some people like to label these. Uh, you can label them so you don't forget, but I always do it that way so I always know which one's the one coming in and which one's going to the next outlet. So here I'm trimming them down, I like about six inches exposed. You can use the handle of your pliers or a scrap piece of wood or something if you wanna make a little template, make them all the same, but, or just eyeball it. About six inches is good. This one you might wanna practice on the bench, maybe clamp a piece of this wire in a vise and practice this, what you're doing is using the sharp edge of that razor blade to just score the surface of that yellow casing that's around the wires that are inside. You don't want to swipe at it and slice. You're just kind of pushing it and jiggling it, just scoring it through. But uh, you don't want to be slicing through the yellow jacket and then into the shielding around the wires inside there. So you got to be careful here and it's a good idea to practice. So once you got that outer jacketing scored, then you're just gonna grab a hold of the that jacketing and just give a tug and it'll pop right off of there like that. Here we go on the other one and they pull right off. Okay, now you wanna separate all the wires, get the whites and the blacks and kind of bend them back out of the way and keep those copper ones out where you can get at them. And we're gonna tear that paper off there's a paper wrapping around the copper, the bare copper wires. So we're going to tear that paper off and get it out of the way. And then we're going to twist the uh, two coppers together to make it basically like one. Then we're going to slide on this little copper crimper. And this will crimp the two coppers together and give them a good solid connection. And once they're crimped together, we'll clip off one of them. You only need one copper wire coming out of here, so crimp off, uh, clip off one like that. Now this last step is rolling these wires up in there so that they're completely below the surface of that box, so they're not in the way of the drywall. And you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of work it in there, just kind of slide it in, and start bending at the out, outer end and you kind of roll it and roll it and get it in there and then it uh, just kind of shove it in there at the end just turn it sideways uh, you don't want it sticking out of that box at all otherwise the drywall is going to hit it and it needs to be out of the way of the guys when they use their cutter to cut the hole for that outlet to fit through the drywall all right here's the last time through uninterrupted 
So we take those heavy duty cutters and cut those things off. Like I said earlier, right around six inches. We reach in with this utility knife and we score the yellow casing. We don't want to slice it, we don't want to cut it. We just want to score it so that when we pull on the yellow casing, it'll just kind of rip apart where we put the score mark. There you go. See how those come off there? And we uh, get all the black and whites out of the way so we can work on the coppers. Tear that paper off of there. There we go. Then we twist the coppers together. And these are just a, a run of uh, regular old outlets. Uh, there's no I'm putting on that copper sleeve. There's no light switches involved or any switching. It's just a continuous run from one outlet to the next. So this is about as simple as it gets. And uh, using those crimper tools to crimp that copper sleeve down. And we're gonna be real careful to cut one of the coppers off without letting our snippers hit the other one. Pull them apart if you need to, but you don't want to snip that other one and weaken it. Now this one rolls up really nice and easy and it just slips right in. That's what you're looking for. And this one I think I grabbed a little too much to begin with. And so when I got to this point it didn't want to just tuck right in real easy. And that's it. Alright.